Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's April 1st. I'm just going to pick right back up for a weekly vlog. It's 7.30. I just got up. Scott's getting ready for work. So I'll take you along today while I'm off work and Cruz is out of school. So I'm going to go get him real soon and spend the day with him. Douglas already walking over to the freaking chicken coop down there to get his morning stroll. So <laughs> no way that he has found these chickens. He's gonna get his morning cardio in. Jesus Christ. Uh. I'm not really sure what we're doing today. I know I need to get my life together. I need to get groceries, meal prep, get crews ready for school. I need to pay some bills. Um, so I feel like this might be a little productive vlog. I need to call my doctor's office and possibly go in today. Um, to start like a new cycle so we will see what we get into today I figured I needed the day off just after traveling from st. Louis to back and heading to Easter immediately and then coming home and getting cruise fed but when since cruise stayed the night at Momo's I kind of had some time we unpacked and I just relaxed so I probably could have worked today but I woke up so freaking tired tonight or this morning I feel like last night I just tossed and turned we heard coyotes or I did Scott's he never heard of but heard coyotes all night um at least it feel, felt like all night we've had allergies I took some medicine last night and I just feel so groggy and gross today so I'm really hoping I turn that around and make today a productive day Scott's about to head off to work he has to drive to McPherson Kansas which I think is like three and a half hours away Vicky's calling me so let me answer good morning good morning how was it Good. He wants to dip for his sausage. Not gonna lie, I got back in bed. I have coffee. Scott just left for work, and I'm gonna work on a grocery list and order groceries. And I actually just started watching Nashville. I know that was like a popular show like years ago. Actually, my husband used to watch it like years and years ago when it was on TV. And I'm running out of shows to watch, and I need a show that's, like, not stare at it, and you have to watch every single detail when I work. Um, like, I like to listen to something. So, this is my series I'm going to start. I actually just finished Suits, and I freaking loved it. It was really slow at first, and I had tried to start it multiple times. So I was like, this is just way too slow. It was really good. Highly recommend. I finished all, I think it was nine seasons. One of the seasons was on Amazon Prime. The rest was on Netflix. So... I'm just going to have this on while I order groceries and wait for the doctor to call. I called them and left a message. So the nurse should call me soon and enjoy my hot cup of coffee without my baby and then go get him. I miss him. So waiting on the doctor to call so I don't really have any news there. Haven't really talked about it on my normal vlogs in a while, but we did do another IUI. So cycle three IUI technically two because the first one we had to cancel but it didn't work i found out this weekend i actually found out like tuesday wednesday i took a test and it should have been somewhat positive if i was pregnant and i wanted to know before going into supercross and like everything that was happening this weekend just so i can prepare if i was gonna you know start the girl time or be like the beginning stage of pregnancy where you're just so nauseous and i wanted to make sure i had like things that i needed for that this weekend but it did not work, so it was not our time. Like I had mentioned before, we got pregnant on our second IUI with Cruz, so I was really just kind of hoping it'd be fun to do the second IUI and be pregnant again for baby number two, but wasn't in our cards, was not meant to be. So that's, I was really bummed for a little bit. I actually had a full bone like, it's never gonna work, why are we doing this moment? And Scott's like, listen, third's a charm. We have another shot, let's do it. Uh, I technically only have two more shots. I don't know if you know anything about like IUI and infertility It's actually wild that it's only like 11 to 13 percent Success rate of getting pregnant with IUI if you have unexplained infertility or any infertility issues um, But the more you do them the percentage goes down and I can't remember exactly why but they only each office allows you to do a certain amount so like this office allows me to do three or four depending on what we want to do now if I went in month five and was like let's do another they would do it but it's on me like it's on me the fact that they're telling me no like you're done at four 
it's on me to keep paying the money and like keep doing it, they will do it, but they don't recommend it. So we will be done after four rounds because that's what the doctor recommends. Um, so that's just a little update. I don't know what we're going to do. We're not going to think about what happens when the next two, if they don't work, because I'm not really sure if we know what we're going to do. The next step would be IVF. It is a very expensive journey in a very, from what I can see, emotional, draining, highs and lows, roller coaster more than I'm on already. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're not going to think that far. Scott is, I think, more on board now with like, okay, if we want to do it, let's do it. We'll figure it out. But it's just the chunk of change that has to, it's like 20 to 30 grand to make one happen. And I just don't know if we're in a spot right now where that is what our priority should be. Um, but like I said, we're not going to think about if the next two don't work. Let's just start there. So that's a little update of what I'm willing to share on like my personal vlog. I am documenting the process on like an IUI journey vlog that I will eventually upload, hopefully if we get pregnant or if we decide we're done attempting. Um, so I don't know, that's where we're at. I'm waiting on the doctor to call so I can start, I don't know, typically they want to see me um, before starting meds. So... We will see. I would like if they called me back and was like, go ahead and start meds today. You know, don't have to come in. But I was kind of holding off going to get crews in case they told me like, hey, come in for an ultrasound at 9 or 10 or whatever. So I could get things rolling. But I'm not heard. So I need to go get crews. I'm just going to spend the day here. I made a grocery list. I have not hit submit because like I said, oh, my towels are in the laundry. I was waiting on the doctors because I was going to try to like do all in one swoop and get groceries. This is made so I can just hit the time I want and hit submit. I need a meal prep today. I need to lay Cruz's clothes out for the week. I always do that in his closet so they're ready to go. Scott's at work. We open up Mega Camp registration at noon. So he was working on some of that this morning. I feel like I need to wash my face again. And yeah, he's at work while he's driving. He has to drive three and a half hours or so to work today. I got laundry going, wrong load two. So we'll need to fold or put all of that away. I'm gonna get a pile. his bed and said I go night night when we got back we ended up playing at Vicky's for a little bit she had to leave to take um, her mom RGG to the doctors but Blair and I and Ella the next door girl just played with the boys for a little bit got all their energy out and left and now he is asleep so it's 12 25 he fell asleep about five ten minutes ago so hey did you girl I'm going to heat up some lunch chill for a second waiting on laundry and yeah i ordered groceries i can't pick those up till like 4 30 so kind of just hanging out for the day we scott is still driving he probably is there now but mega camp registration is open so we made sure all that looked good and we have side ups already rolling in so it's really really good right cc so i'm gonna heat up some lunch eat some lunch and chill Bye, your bag. Cruzy missed you, sis. Yeah, her boo. Her boo? Yeah. Uh, itchy right there. She got itchy? Yeah. Okay, well, itch, 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 itch. Oh. Okay. Sissy's okay. Yeah, she's okay. 
good one over there. Oh, that's okay. That's her skin. It's her hair. Someone's really lovely to this afternoon. That's her toe. No, what is that? That's her leg. <laughs> <laughs> we have been extremely lazy this afternoon. Cruz woke up from a nap and just kind of wanted to cuddle. And that is what we did. But I finally got my hands on the new Alani Orange Kiss. They literally all just fell out of the package. Are you scrubbing? Okay. Oh, okay. The style is on point. Can you turn around and say cheese? Cheese! <laughs> he picked his hat off and everything. Okay, let's get in the car. I've been drunk, I've been drunk, I've been drunk. I've been drunk. We got the goods. Yeah. <gasps> you stopped the music. Uh-oh. After literally dropping all of these <laughs> on my dog and myself, I put one in the freezer so I could try it. It's the new Orange Kiss Alani New. I always drink the mimosa. I really need to put these groceries away behind me, which I'm going to do next. So I'm going to do a taste test of these. Uh, but I was just looking. We're in a tornado watch. Which I think we're okay. I hope this is cold enough. Let's give it a little taste test. Ooh. I like that. It's like more tangerine versus orange, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know what that aftertaste is. Like Orange Kiss is like the perfect name for this. I don't know how they do it, but they make the names pretty freaking I like spot on. Since it's already Monday, I did kind of a smaller grocery haul. This was still $128, I think. So I'll just give you a rundown. I got my Siggy's yogurt, my favorite. This is the mixed berry, it's the coconut blend, so dairy free. It's got amino energies, egg whites, nut thins. I'm gonna do burger bowls again. I did tater tots. Cruz likes these Simply Mills chocolate chip cookies for a little treat. Blue corn tortilla chips for taco night. Rice for Scott's meal prep. And then the cheeses, string cheese. I love string cheese with these nut thins. I know not dairy free, but it's like my favorite. Cruz also is hit or miss on string cheese but I like to have it. Mexican style, the thick cut is my favorite for taco night. A mozzarella blend for just, um, ta or for, um, for pizzas. And then I did the dairy-free mozzarella for my everyday hamburger bowls. I love this cheese, it melts really, really good. Um, tortillas for taco night, of course. These are on sale for $3.99, so I got two of those. Bacon was on sale for four bucks, I think, so I got that. Taco seasoning. This is the only seasoning Cruz will eat. He's actually really picky. If I put another seasoning on, like, his chicken or beef, he will not eat it. This is the only one. So, got one of those. Beef sticks for Scott. Nana's for smoothies for myself for toast and just for snack for Cruz. Shredded lettuce, strawberries, asparagus, eggs and orange juice. Orange juice was two for six, so I ended up getting two. We do the 50% light, and we do four ounces every morning with our greens. Oh. Is Sissy on your jump? Mm -hmm. Sissy. She wants to lay here. Can we make another jump? Where should we make a jump at? Right there. Yeah, okay, jump. look, you can pull the blanket like this <gasps> and make a jump. Is that cool? Watch. So we made a big jump. What?